but I knew I could do more outside of TV news. I knew it was my mission to help people, just like my dad helped people in pain. And that's when I met Ellie Nash, who is here in the audience today. Ellie was able to build up a very successful cell phone distribution company, but there was something missing from his life. He couldn't speak. He couldn't stand in front of an audience. He was in his own jail. I knew that I had a method of connection. I grew up this way. I grew up on the stage. I grew up in front of audiences. I told Ellie, I said, I can help you. Give me a chance. So he came to my house and we started going through his story. I, I tried to figure out what was holding back somebody who was a leader who had more than 100 employees from simply being able to stand up at a meeting and speak effectively. Ellie told me his story. At eight years old, he was molested by a family friend. Suffocated. He had lost his voice. Life had stolen his voice. <clears throat> I said, I'm gonna help you get your voice back. We are going to go through a method that if you trust me, you will stand on a stage in front of hundreds of people and use your story to uplift others. At first, <clears throat> Ellie was skeptical. How am I gonna do this? Great leaders, great speakers are vulnerable. There is a great strength in vulnerability. This is where trust is born. When you are able to say, I'm scared, or I need help, this is how you impact audiences. Audiences want truth. So Ellie began his speech with a picture of himself as this beautiful eight-year-old boy. And instead of giving an audience stats and data and quotes, he opened up with him. I still remember that speech. And it was seen by thousands of people. Now let me tell you why this is so important. Imagine if Ellie would have kept that story inside. Not only would he have lost his voice, but all the thousands of people that he has helped who were molested and abused themselves would have been robbed of the opportunity of inspiration. See, it's not just about us. It's about sharing our story so we can uplift and we can impact others. When you are silent, you rob people of that opportunity. And I said at that moment, I said, oh my goodness gracious, I have a method that can work on anyone. On anyone. I can bring people back, people who felt like they were forgotten about, or that they were worthless or that their story doesn't matter, and I can put them on a stage just like this and say, you matter.